Welcome back everybody to SimCity Builds and welcome to Overtron. Look at it now, hasn't it upgraded since you last saw it? So when you last saw it, it was a tiny village uh, with a lot of co uh, kind of problems in it because the factories were like smogging the people out, so nobody wanted to come move in, but now look at it. Overtron is bustling with a 99% happiness rating, 42,675 uh, people live in Overtron, which I am super happy about. Now, I saw some of your comments in the last video on to how to like separate stuff to make everybody happy, and I've done that now, and as you can see, we've got completely different sections to my city, and I'm going to describe that for you in this video. So if you want to check this game out, guys, check the links in the description. It's available on iOS and Android for free, uh, and it's just insane. So... Let's go through and have a look. So welcome everybody to Overtron. Now Overtron has the best population you could ever find. These are only the best people living in these buildings. Nobody that you wouldn't like. You will not get mugged in Overtron. It's so safe we don't even need a police station yet. We have a fire station, but we can't buy a police station. Uh, and for some reason, there's 1% aren't happy, and I'm, I'm trying to find out who those 1% are, uh, but I can't quite find it. So, in Overtron, we have unique things like this, like the largest ball of, I think it's yarn or something, twine even. Uh, the world's largest ball of twine. We have that, and that brings our population up loads in this city, which is pretty cool. And you can see this, everybody. This is my house. Now, you thought in the last one, I thought I lived in a town hall, but I don't. I actually have got my own mansion. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And we are sat right here, right next to City Hall, where the tax rate is the highest tax rate. Now, I feel really bad about that because my tax rate in the game is so, so high. Whereas, really, it should be as low as possible to keep everybody happy. But everybody is so happy with my city, they're just chucking money at me. They're like, dude, take my taxes. Take more taxes. Uh, and if the world was like that... It'd be a really weird place. So this is obviously fake because uh, the taxes are very, very high and people are happy about that. So I've also separated, as I said, the city at the bottom. We then have this area here, which is our retail. So we have a furniture store. We have a building supply store. We have a hardware store. And we also have a farmer's market. And they're all on that strip. So if you want to buy anything in Overtron, there's one strip to go to. There's no worry and there's no fannying about at all. We then have our water and our wind farm. Nothing amazing, but it does the job and it keeps everybody happy. And then going up to the top here, we have our factories. This is the bad part of Overtron. You don't want to go here. Uh, the air is not that safe, but it's very productive. We've also got a big city storage of 70 at the moment, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have got a basic sewage, sewage, so that um, nobody, basically, their poops and stuff don't all block up the city and they actually get sorted. And then we also have this. Now, I didn't want to get a coal power plant. I wanted everything to be wind or solar, but it was so expensive. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'll buy a coal power plant, see how everybody is. And everybody was really happy when I bought one, uh, especially when I bought it and put it further away. So we've also unlocked a few things since last time, including this, which is a delivery ship where we can actually fill it up. That's pretty cool. Uh, you have a cargo ship and you want uh, other cities say, we want this, that, and the other. So in here, for example, they want these three items. And if you give it to them, number one, you get a bit of money for it. But number two, you get these, which are golden keys, which unlock special buildings. Uh, and they're really worth trying to collect. We've also unlocked the trade depot where we can trade stuff. Oh, I've sold something to Daniel City. Thank you. Uh, and we've also unlocked the Global Trade HQ, where you can buy stuff from other players. But I have had the worst luck on Global Trade HQ. The reason for that is, uh, for some reason, I'm really slow. And whenever I try and get the stuff that I want, it's already sold. And I just, I cry. So we'll probably need to buy something today, uh, and we'll try and do that. But first things first is it's time to start upgrading our city. As you can see, we've got buildings that can be upgraded, and we actually have the raw materials that we need to upgrade the city. So let's make sure we collect everything that we can to start off with. We've got all that stuff there, and let's just go through and see what we can build. So we can upgrade this, which gives us another 154 population, uh, as well as 77, uh, 776 gold, and we got some XP, which is cool. So this building is now going to be upgraded very nicely indeed. We've also got another building to be upgraded. Uh, this one will bring roughly the same, but it actually costs a bit more. Uh, but what's happening now is because everybody's so happy in my city, I've got really good services. All the buildings I build at this moment are actually a lot more valuable than the buildings I built at the start of the game because it's such a high demand to live here now that it, it works really clever. I'm really impressed uh, by how this game like does all this kind of ecosystem. So, everybody keeps coming to us as well, and they want to sell or buy, and we don't really want to sell that yet, because we want to make sure we can upgrade everything. This person wants a chair. 
They literally want one chair as well to upgrade their house. It's like, yeah, if you could, like, upgrade the fifth floor and also throw in one single chair, I'll be happy. So, uh, let's upgrade that for that fella. And there we go. We've upgraded three places. We've got a load of XP. Uh, and we can nearly upgrade some more stuff. So, for, in, for this one, for example, we need three tapes and we need three nails. We only have one nail and we have two tapes. So, we're going to start that up. Uh, to get the nails, you need iron, or metal, sorry. So let's get the metal. We can just, should we just collect everything? I think we can pretty much collect everything from up here. Uh, there we go. Let's collect all that. And let's go back. Oh, we can build something again. Yes, the plastic is what we needed to build. Um, and we can build this one. That's a plus 752 population. That's going to be amazing to see how big that one gets. So let's make sure we watch that. And then we also get these from our people. Uh, our kids can't get to school. Ah, oh, that's bad. But they've given me something for it. Okay, thank you very much. I'll take that. And what do you want? I love this park. Good. Good, good, good. So, my education is not really that great at the moment. I don't even know if I've got education set up in here. That's Department of Transportation, actually. Uh, so, I think I need to save up for education. So, for this one, again, we needed tape measures and we needed nails. Let's go and build two lots of nails. And then we need to build the tape measure. Tape measures do take... 20 minutes so we might have to skip that oh no what we can do is we can go on the trouble uh, global trade hq and try and build one tape measure that's really try and buy one tape measure i probably won't get it because my luck in the global trade hq sucks uh but we'll give it a go i really wanted to see how big this building got uh but it seems to be taking quite a while but look at it that's huge that's getting really really big there we go look at that swaggy place right there oh yeah Fireworks are not permitted in the city, though, my friends, so I would not use fireworks again. So, we're going to go on Global Trade HQ. We're going to try and buy one tape measure. Are they going to have a tape measure for us? Nope, they don't. Let's try it again. So, you can keep on basically going on and off it, and I think... I'm pretty sure it refreshes it. I'm not 100% sure now, but I'm pretty sure it does. But we're just looking for that one tape measure. Come on. Uh, so, when you buy something, what it does is it links you to whoever is selling it. And you go basically to their house or you go to their place where they live and you buy it from their stores. Now, it's all about that connection time, whether you can connect to their base or, or their, their city, sorry, even as quick as possible. If you can't connect to it quickly, someone else is probably going to connect to it quicker than you uh, and you're going to be in trouble. So, it doesn't look like anybody's selling tape measures at this time, so we might have to come back for that. It definitely looks like nobody's buying tape, selling tape measures, so we'll have to come back to that at a later date. Is there any other stuff? Oh, yeah. So this cargo ship as well needed to be full up. We can, uh, so we can pack up this, which is some kind of food or crop, or I don't even know what it is. But we need some wood planks, and we need some nails. Everybody wants nails at the moment. Nails are in very high demand. Uh, so maybe we should think about buying more nails as well. Ah, we need iron for the, uh, metal for that. I keep on calling it iron because of friggin' Minecraft. It's so annoying. Uh, anyway, metal. It's called metal. Metal, 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 and some logs. <laughs> and some more metal. There we go. So, we've got the metal now being ready to go. Now we just want to wait for them, and then we can start buying some nails. We might have to skip the time. Uh, yes, tape measure, tape measure, tape measure. Okay, so this is how quick you have to be. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No! How has someone bought it in that amount of time? Literally, that, that's it, and it's gone. Like that. That's the tape measure, gone. Oh, so frustrating. And I literally did this for about half an hour. I was, like, trying to buy stuff. And I, apparently, I was just too slow. And I, I never even got what I wanted. I can't even remember what I wanted to buy. It wasn't a tape measure. I think it was one of, I think it was one of those. Uh, one of those right there. Like a, a security camera. Because you need those to upgrade <laughs> some of the stuff in your city. But I can't believe that we, can, we didn't get that tape measure. We were so quick. We were so quick. It's like you don't even have a second to decide whether it's worth it or not. Here we go. Iron's ready. Metal's ready. Metal. Metal off. Metal's ready. Uh, and we can buy some nails with that. So we can use this sim cache to uh, kind of skip it forward and make it a little bit quicker. And do we have... Oh, we need one more. We need one more load of nails. So let's do two just, just because... Just in case, because I think the other place actually needed nails as well. So really, we're going to need a lot more nails than I expected. Uh, but there we go. We can pack that one up. There we go. And now we just need wooden planks. 
uh, which takes 30 minutes. So again, we're going to have to skip that forward for the purpose of the video. Uh, and we're going to pack that up. And now that we've got everything in the cargo ship that he asked for, we can send it off and they'll give us a gold key, which is going to work perfectly for us. There's the gold key. Boom. Four gold keys. So what can we buy with these gold keys? Uh, we can buy things like this. So for example, a bus terminal. I actually have a bus terminal. Uh, but it is good to build them because, as you can see, if I was to put this actually somewhere in the city, it boosts the uh, population quite a bit wherever you put it. So we could use the four gold keys on that. Or we could save up for ten for an airship hangar. That would be pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if we can buy... Can we buy education with it? Yeah, we can. So that there costs three gold keys. Uh, but we do need a department of education first, which costs 40 Thousand. They take a while to save up. We're on 30,000, uh, but it does take quite a while to save up. So, last try in the Global Trade HQ to buy a tape measure. If we can't buy one here, we're just going to have to uh, kind of skip one forwards. One. We'll go to three. Are you ready? Two. Nothing. And third final time. Absolutely nothing. It's useless. I'm so bad in the Global Trade HQ. I don't know why. Ah, oh, we need to buy a missing iron. For God's sake. Uh, metal, even. I actually have metal ready. Look, you can see the metal is ready uh, there anyway. So I could just pick this up and use that. Okay, so we've got now. We want to upgrade a building. Look at these. Oh, I need that. Look at these buildings in here. These buildings in here are actually really nice. Uh, and they, they need 33 metal. That's a lot of metal to need. Uh, this one needs some nails and some metal as well. And this one just needs those nails now. So we need a couple of nails. But we also need some metal so let's get some metal going it's literally like this you can spend ages and ages just farming your materials getting them ready upgrading your city but there's one thing guys i'm going to be hopefully getting very soon and it is this this is dr vu he does all the terrorizing things in the city which is insane so if you want to see a video of me terrorizing my own city hit the like button down below i'll definitely do it if we can get over 2,000 likes i'll definitely try and get it up for you uh, and do that because that's going to be so much fun to do but here we go. So we can now upgrade this building down here. And that will bring 313 people into my city. So that is it, guys, for... Oh, let's get this. For SimCity Part 2. I just wanted to show you my updated village. My updated city, even. And show you all the stuff that's going on here. Some of the awesome trades that we're doing. Let's do it. There we go. Plus 176. So I'm currently saving up for my Department of Education. And I'm also hopefully boosting my population with that. Which means I can buy the Dr. Vu. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button down below. Comment how you're doing in this game and whether you're enjoying it. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.